Okay, so because people always complain when I point the camera at the screen and record that way, I'm doing it like this. So if I remember right, the default is admin and pfSense to log in. Welcome to pfSense, it says. All right. So these are initial setup. Promise you I read that very carefully. The host name should be... Let's see, what should the host name be? If it's typed out correctly. Go ahead and we'll do that. Primary DNS. Allow it to be overridden, sure. Time server should be fine. We are America, Toronto, or at least I am. I don't know about you guys. WAN should be DHCP. All oh, that should be fine. That should be fine. I don't need to worry about any of that. Unless the WAN network lies in a private address space. I might actually turn that off because I've got servers that are sitting outside of it as well. So... We'll do that. And once you set the password, click on Reload to reload PFSense with new changes. A reload is now in progress. Alright. It's now configured. We'll go for Finish. And then we should be directed. Show you I read that carefully. To this. All right. Now, let's see if I remember what I was doing here. Obtaining update status. Hmm. I wonder if that's working correctly. Advanced. I'm going to revert to HTTP. I'm going to just use the default because I don't have secure anything yet. When I do... Then we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. So, let's see if there's anything else in here that I needed to worry about. I don't think there was. I don't think there really was. It's probably going to screw up. So we'll go back to HTTP. And... 20 seconds, it will uh, redirect us. It's interesting that it will take that long. But we'll wait for it. And we'll have to log in again. That's great. Okay, so I've been doing some configuration without uh, having the thing running. But uh, I had to actually reset it to defaults because changing it to HTTP made it so I couldn't log in properly. So I don't know what happened there, but I'm just going to leave HTTPS on if that's not going to work. So, we'll see what this does. Once I save it, which I have, it's now saved. So if I log out, it should be red. I don't think I need any of this. Available packages. I don't think I really need any of that. So, on the wide area network interface... I think everything is good to go on the LAN interface. I did notice that it doesn't appear to have detected the second Ethernet con or the third Ethernet controller, so I'm probably going to have to replace it because I don't know if that card even works. So that's kind of annoying. I don't know what happened there, but it's very interesting. Maybe I'll have to go in into assignments. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. There it is. I was wondering about that. OPT1, sure. We can go in and save it. I don't need anything else. No VLANs. No nothing like that. Firewall rules. I think I'll configure the OPT1 interface later. The LAN should be wide open, but OPT1 should not be. 
And I'm probably going to have to, if I remember right, you have to do routing between both networks. So LAN to OPT and then OPT to LAN, WAN to OPT, both ways. It has to go both ways. So we'll see how that goes. I want the DHCP server to work. So from here, that should all be good. Everything there should be fine. So that's an IP. Domain name. What should it be set to? So we'll do that. All of that should be good. And the thing that I need is network booting because I will eventually have this. So zero dot two will be the assigned entry. If I remember right, that's how that's set up. So we can save that. And it should be good. Good to go. I'll have to do all the static mapping stuff later. So then I'm going to have to go into each individual server manually and change those addresses. I should have done turn DHCP on on all of them before changing the network over, but oh well, you learn as you go, really. So everything should be good. DHCP leases. There are no leases. That's interesting. There should be one for this computer I'm on right now. What did that just do? Restart service. I don't think that was quite what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. So that's interesting. Eh, whatever. So all of that should be okay. Everything should be in good shape. No errors. Everything is good. So I think that is pretty much going to do it for the video. I'm sorry for the very cluster, you know, mess that this video really was, but that's just how it is sometimes. So there you go. That's really all that I have to say. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off, and I hope to see you next time. Till then.